Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel and today's video We are gonna be continuing on the series where I try super high-end very luxurious beauty brands that everyone is really intrigued by But maybe does not have the money to buy or if you do want to buy something from one of these brands You really want to do your research last time I tried all YSL makeup products And I will leave the video card right here if you guys want to check that out You guys seem to really enjoy that video. It did really well. So today I'm gonna to be doing all Marc Jacobs beauty products, which Oh, honey, I spent a good dollar on these makeup products today. I'm just keeping them in business because I spent $900 today. Don't tell my mom. She will actually murder me. But it's okay because honestly, I do really want to get to know these like more luxurious makeup brands a little bit better and have a better understanding of their products. And this way, you guys get to see how some of their products perform and whether they're worth that hefty, hefty dollar bill or not, you know? So you can watch me test it out and potentially waste my money on a product before you go out and buy it yourself. I'm taking one for the team. My S Club, I got you, all right? It's all in this bag. The lady's like, oh, you really like Marc Jacobs. I'm like, yeah. I don't like them so much right now when I see that $900 bill come up. Anyways, before we start the video, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button before you forget and subscribe because I upload a new video every single Sunday and a bonus video throughout the week. Yeah, without further ado, let's get on testing these crazy expensive makeup products. I tried to get an assortment of like their most popular products and then also a few of their newer items. So I'm gonna start with their primer. This is the only primer that they have, I'm pretty sure. It's such a small little bottle, but look how cute it is. This is the nicest packaging ever. It's so sleek and it's just, it just feels expensive. I'll give it to the these luxurious brands at least with YSL that was a reoccurring theme too they just have really really nice packaging like I don't know if that's where all my money's going but it's nice to look at so it says this is supposed to be skin smoothing makeup extending primer so your makeup's supposed to last longer Ooh, they say it's for normal to dry skin and that it should help with like dry patches now I have oily skin so I don't know how much is gonna help me but I do have dry spots on like my acne so maybe it'll help with that it smells very strongly of coconut but I really like it I had a crumb on my lip. I was eating a Big Mac. I'm very sorry. I'm gross. I know. But no shame in my game. It's a very like creamy feeling. It feels like a lotion. It doesn't feel silicone based at all. Like usually a skin smoothing product would feel. I don't know if this would be the right primer for my skin type because I'm oily and I need something that helps with my texture and my large pores. This mostly feels just very hydrating. So if you have dry skin and you don't have a lot of texture to your skin, this is probably gonna be good for your skin type. So now for foundation, they have two foundations, but I grabbed the one that I've heard the most about and I'm most curious to try. It's the Remarkable Foundation, get it? Mark Jacobs Remarkable. This is supposed to be like so insanely full coverage and when I swatched at the store, a little tiny drop pretty much swatched my whole hand. So I'm very excited because you guys know I love full coverage. I got it in the shade Bisque Neutral, so let's give it a go. Again, packaging is so cute. It looks exactly like the primer, just with a black lid. The handle is kind of weird. This is just an odd applicator, I feel like, for a foundation. Also gets really, really messy around the lid. And I know this because the ones at Sephora were absolutely disgusting from people like opening them up, swatching, putting back. See? It just got everywhere, but that's my fault because I'm an absolute idiot. Why was I waving it around like that? So it's not my favorite way to dispense foundation. I'm gonna actually put it directly on my beauty blender. Wow. Wow, was that even too much, you guys? I didn't even put that much on the beauty blender. I did one little swipe. Ooh, so this foundation would definitely... crisis somebody call 911 the entire thing splattered all over my carpet all over my equipment i'm gonna freak out i'm gonna freak out it's everywhere i think i just ruined my carpet you guys come on marky mark why you gotta do me like that with this weird ass applicator just wasted so much foundation too it was so expensive do i need some more foundation let me just get it for my leg <laughs> So foundation's fully applied. Clearly it's very full coverage. Now I'm not getting a matte finish. I'm actually getting more of like a satiny finish. And I think it's because of their primer that I used beforehand. I don't mind it right now, but I think later on in the day, since I do have very oily T-zone, it's probably gonna look too oily, you know? So definitely that primer is probably not right for my skin type, at least not my T-zone. But if you're really dry, this is probably gonna do wonders for you. I'm gonna just set my forehead before it gets too out of hand. Next, I'm gonna try out their concealer. Ooh, look at this packaging. That's very sleek. It's their Remarkable Concealer. So I guess it goes with the Remarkable Foundation 
full coverage. I'm gonna just apply it with my brush and then blend it out with my beauty blender. So this is basically the same color as my foundation. I probably could have gone with a shade lighter. It feels like a moussey consistency. It reminds me of the NARS Complete Comfort Concealers. Is that what they're called? So concealer is completely applied. It's not giving me a matte finish. It's like this really nice satin skin-like finish. I really like how full coverage it is. I didn't need to go in with a color corrector or anything like that beforehand and it completely covered up my dark circles. Not gonna lie, you guys, I'm loving the way my skin is looking so far. These two products are a hit for me. Now I'm gonna set my under eye with some loose powder. It's not Marc Jacobs. I don't think they have a loose powder because I usually find creamy concealers will crease really quickly. And this will also mattify it and help to conceal like that hollow underneath your eyes. I grabbed one of their newer products, the Do You Do Drops. Drops that you can put in your foundation or apply directly to your skin for a nice highlight and it gives you a dew complexion if you put it into your foundation like that's just the tiniest little drop on my hand and it's blinding Woo! that is beautiful it gives you like the most natural looking highlight but still very blinding like it blends flawlessly into the foundation and it doesn't look like glitter I mean if it's super high-end and you're paying all that money you really do want to be liking the products like they should be doing it right if they're selling it for so much money you know it's not like I'm surprised that I'm liking a lot of the products but sometimes you never know like I've tried a lot of high-end stuff that doesn't even compare to more affordable brands that's why I like doing these videos to really see what's worth your money. You can definitely tell it has high quality ingredients in it because it's not separating my foundation or making it go patchy like sometimes I find liquid highlighters can do. And the hype is real. I really like it. Next up, I'm gonna contour and highlight using their light filtering contour powder. I got it in the shade Mirage Filter. I hope it's not too muddy, like it does look very gray, but let's see. Okay. It's nice, very subtle. All right, so it's not muddy. It's giving me a subtle contour. I would still bronze along with this. I don't hate it. It's not wowing me, but I don't hate it. Now let's try the little banana shade here. I'm gonna just use this to highlight underneath my eye. I have to turn the light down a little bit. It's a little too bright. I don't know, it doesn't look too highlighted to me. There's a lot of powder, but it didn't brighten too much. So I'd probably go without this palette. Probably not quite worth the money because you can find a lot better alternatives. Next up, I'm trying out their Air Blush. I I got the shade Kink and Kisses. They didn't have too many shade options, which I was surprised by. I like how all the compacts are so sleek, but they still have a mirror in them. Most of the time when a product has a mirror in it, it can be really chunky and super heavy, and that's not really convenient to take anywhere. So I really like Marc Jacobs packaging. Very subtle, it's not super pigmented right off the bat, but I like that in my blushes because you don't have to work as hard to blend it out. And that's an okay color for me. It's a little bit too bright of a pink for me. All right, so blush is on, not my favorite color, but but it is a really nice formula. But then again, blush isn't something that you really need to spend a whole lot of money on to get a good formula, unless you want it for the really cute containers. I got one of their brow pencils. They really didn't have very many shades. I think they had like four or five shades and all of them were seemed to be very ashy unless you were getting the one meant for redheads. I wanted something a little bit more warm toned because I like to make my brows look a little bit lighter to match my hair. So I got the shade medium brown. I don't know if it's because it's the first time I'm using it, but I'm having to push very hard to actually get any color on my brows. I've definitely tried a lot better eyebrow pencils than this. Benefit has better brow pencils. Even the Brow Beater Urban Decay is better. So both brows are on and yeah, I just have to say that this is a really underwhelming brow product. So they did have a clear brow gel. That is such a weird wand. Why is it yellow? And it's like fuzzy. It looks like a caterpillar. That is so funny. It doesn't really thicken your brow hairs, which some people might not like, but for me, my brow hairs are already too thick. It kind of just like pushes them down and sets them in place and doesn't wrap every brow hair with a shit ton of product, you know? It's hard to explain, but it does a good job setting them and I kind of like the weird wand. Like it works for my brows. Before we move on, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my foundation is just not sitting well. It's starting to set into my smile lines and break up on my chin. That's really disappointing because I was really liking that foundation. I'm gonna have to try it out a few more times, like differently with a different primer, try it by itself, and just see how well it wears. That usually happens to my foundations after wearing it all day long. It starts to rub off and break up, but not after only having it on for 30 minutes. 
So moving on to eyes, they didn't have an eyeshadow primer, so I'm just gonna use the one that I like to use for MAC, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now that my eyes are primed, we're gonna move on to some of their eye products. The Sephora location that I was at had gotten rid of all of their old eyeshadows because they're making room for their new eyeshadow palettes. I'm not sure when they're coming out with them in the Sephora, but they weren't there yet and they had just emptied the shelf. I picked out the Twinkle Pop Stick Eyeshadow in such a gorgeous shade. It was like a cream eyeshadow, but I guess I forgot to put it in my little basket. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> But I'm definitely gonna pick some of those up and try them out because they really looked so beautiful. So now basically I only have two eyeliners. So we're gonna test out their liquid eyeliner. They only had two shades and it was in brown and like this burgundy color. I was really surprised to see that. They didn't even have a black. So I got the brown shade. The product is just coming out so nicely. It's not dry at all. It glided right on. I didn't have to do more than one layer. So I am liking the eyeliner. I like that the product was flowing all the way through to the very tip of the pen. Next up, I have their Highliner Gel Crayons. I've heard a lot about these. They're basically just an eyeliner pencil. I got the color gold because it was just the prettiest one to me. It was so beautiful. And I know for a fact that these are super waterproof and stay in place just because I could not get it off my hand when I was swatching them at Sephora. They're probably really good to put on the waterline. I hate when eye pencils are so hard and dry and you have to push so hard to get the product on because those are just painful. This just glides on really really smoothly and it's super creamy and waterproof so what more could you want in an eye pencil? So next up I'm trying their Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. The display said that it was award-winning. It had its own little pedestal so I grabbed this one to see if the hype is real. Whoa! Okay, that's with two coats and it just extended my lashes so far. This does remind me of the Better Than Sex mascara, but honestly, it just makes your lashes longer. This made my lower lashes look crazy long. Wow. I have to do one eye of the Better Than Sex mascara and the other eye with this because it's a really close call and you guys know that's my favorite mascara of all time. So that's saying a lot. So that's all I have for the eyes. I'm going to move on to lips. I grabbed three lip products, which is a little much, but I had never tried any of their lip products before. So I want to get a good feel for the lip products of the brand, you know? So I got something from their new nudes collection. They're like sheer lip gels. I thought that was interesting. You guys know me. I love my nudes. I got the shade Anace, Anace, 146 Anace, I don't know. And I got one of their lip pencils. They don't have a very wide range. And I got the shade Nudist, but I'll just line my lips first and then go in with the lipstick. Very smooth, but kind of have to go over it a few times. The lip pencil is whatever. I kind of prefer the MAC Pro Longer lip pencils. You have to really, really twist it out. Otherwise, your lips are hitting the tip of this here. It's hard to get like a sharp line. So I probably won't buy any more of their lip pencils. That didn't wow me at all. Now I'm going to try the Sheer Lip Gel. I was thinking this would be a nice like everyday nude lipstick. I really don't like the shade of that lip liner. It's like purple, not nude. Feels very hydrating, kind of smooth. It's got some shine to it. So it's more of like a satin finish. I wouldn't say it's sheer though. It's not sheer. There's still quite a lot of pigment. You can feel the quality of the lipstick is really good because it's like very buttery, very smooth. And I like that. I just don't think the lip liner is anything special. I don't like the lip liner. And then I had to get this third lip product. It's their High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer. And I got the shade Sugar Sugar because it said it was their best seller on the display. And it says it's a universally flattering champagne gold shimmer with shine like 30 coats of lacquer. Best seller, so let's see what it's got. It's kind of sheer. Not much color to it. I like the applicator. It's flat, so it makes it really easy to apply. It's very, very glossy. Like it almost looks like glass. So if you're into that and with your lip glosses, this is nice. I have one last product to test out and that is their setting mist. You're meant to use it to make your makeup last longer. It's supposed to be hydrating and give you like a dewy finish, I think. It's supposed to have ingredients that are really good for your skin, but also lock your makeup in for 24 hours. That's like a really big claim for me. Ooh. It's got a really strong spray. Like a, it's not just a mist, it's like a spritz. The spritz is kind of frustrating. It feels like it doesn't get all over your face because it just squirts it in one little area. It reminds me of Tatcha's Dewy Skin Mist right here because it's got kind of like that oily kind of feeling to it. Not too oily where it feels gross, but it does have that feeling to it and it gives you like instant dewiness, which might not be great for my oily skin. Like this would probably start to look like an oil slick by the end of the day. 
but I think I'd really, really like that for a body glow because it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. The whole 24 hour claim, like I really don't see how that product could lock in my makeup for 24 hours, especially if it makes it dewy because I can like already feel my makeup completely on my hands. I don't know. I don't know about that. So those are all the Marc Jacobs products I have to test out for you guys today. I'm really, really shocked that that started to happen with foundation. I will keep trying it because I was really excited about it at first. I liked all of the eye products we tried, especially the mascara. It was really, really nice. Like you can tell it made a huge difference, especially with my lower lashes. Overall face powders, the only thing I really liked was the highlight drops. That was really nice. Those I could definitely see myself using in so many different ways with foundation mixing and all that. So I like those. Other than that, the contour, the blush, the highlight powder, all that was kind of mediocre. I do like the concealer. And the lip products were okay too. They do feel very rich and hydrating on my lips. So that's one thing, but nothing that I would like throw all my money at. So yeah, there was some products that are definitely worth it. And then some that are misses, you know, that they can do better or you can find better with a more affordable brand. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the brand. There's definitely some products that I think I'll keep trying out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And that's all for now. If you missed my last video, just click the boxes down below to watch it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just click the picture of me in the very corner of the screen. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.